Hello and welcome. My name's Mike and this is Sim UK. If you're living in the UK and you're taking advantage of, or you're thinking of taking advantage of, Virgin Media's high-speed broadband, then you will probably know about Virgin Media's new flagship, the Hub 3. And you may or may not have heard some bad things about it, and you're wondering what the alternatives are. Unfortunately, if you don't already have a SuperHub 2AC, then there are no alternatives. You will have to have this device in your home. However, the Hub 3 can be placed into modem mode and you can attach a router of your choosing. Problem solved, but which router should you get? With its striking blue finish, the Linksys WRT 1900 ACS is the spitting image of its predecessor, the WRT 1900 AC, that's without the additional S. But it has a lot more to offer, and a little bit less. The WRT 1900 ACS is a tri-band router that ships with a cap throughput of 1.9 gigabits per second. The 2.4 gigahertz caps out at 600 megabits per second, and the two 5 gigahertz offer 1.3 gigabits per second, but that is pretty much where the similarities with its predecessor end. The ACS has boosted its processors to 1.6 dual core and doubled its RAM to 512 with 128 meg of flash. This router does not have or support MUMIMO, but unless you have a plethora of 802.11 AC compatible devices already, this shouldn't really be a problem. Inside, this router is packed with features and is more than capable of acting as a central data point for your LAN. The WRT1900 ACS has kept the same design look as its predecessor with the front half bathed in blue, and that might put some people off. The device measures in with a footprint of 29cm by 20cm and at most is 12cm high. It is wall mountable so it is possible to place this device somewhere less visible. The other major difference from its predecessor is that this one does not require a fan to keep it cool, and that's thanks to the upgraded chipsets inside. This suggests a quieter router which should have a greater lifespan and require less maintenance. So the WRT1900 ACS isn't going to suit everyone. Its sharp blue finish and lack of MUMIMO is certainly a point for concern, but it is tri-band almost half the price of some of the routers in our list and it is very fast with a multitude of features and settings to help manage your network and certainly should provide a marked improvement over your default router. I deliberately included a pause there just to allow your eyes a few seconds to digest the eye-catching D-Link DIR890L. The 890L is a tri-band router and that includes the AC3200 standard, so that has a healthy theoretical throughput of 3.2 gigabits per second. D-Link have included a smart switch feature which they call Smart Beam, that ensures devices connect to the fastest available band automatically. The 890L is without doubt the most eye-catching router that I have ever seen. It is also one of the largest, with a footprint measuring 38cm by 23cm. For some, that's enough to write this router off completely, as would the inability to remove the external antennas. It is available in this shocking red glass, or the slightly less intense black and grey version, which is less intense, but still stands out thanks to the almost pyramid-like design. The D-Link DIR890L is for some the only choice, but for others there is little to no chance. Despite its gregarious looks, this is a great router with strong, fast and stable connection, more than capable of managing any home network. Netgear's Nighthawk X8 AC5300 is an extremely stable router, and it is the first ever router configured with the fastest current Wi-Fi standards available, AC5300. It has an impressive set of internal settings and features, but comes with a hefty price tag. The X8 AC5300 is without doubt a feature-filled device, possibly to the point where it is too feature-rich for the average home user and is perhaps better suited to a business user instead. 
This router has superb Wi-Fi stability thanks to four external and four internal active antennas. This router comes with not four but six gigabit LAN ports, plus the WAN. With its sleek design and undulating vents, this is a router which suits some but not all in terms of aesthetics. The router has one 3.0 and one 2.0 ports, which are interestingly located on the right-hand side of the router. A unique feature which may not suit everyone, but whilst not in use, there is a flip tray to hide them. The undulating vents are also functional, to stop anyone placing objects on top, as this device does get very hot. This is a very large and very powerful router, capable of managing any network with ease. However, the device has some drawbacks, notably the price and the level of complexity. I'm not the first to say, but I am inclined to agree that this device is perhaps too overkill for the average home user. That being said, it is very powerful and very capable. The Linksys EA8500 was released in 2015 and was the first router to implement Qualcomm's MU EFX QC A9980 chipset, or MuMiMu if you will, which offers greater performance for congested networks. With a maximum theoretical throughput of 2.5 gigabits per second, the EA8500 is a fast, stable and very capable router. Coverage and stability are very good, as is the ability to attach a USB 3 or eSASA hard drive and utilise this device like a central data point. With a footprint measuring 25cm by 19cm, it is smaller than most of the routers in our list. It is all matte black with a large number of holes located on top to efficiently cool the router. There is a WPS button, but it's annoyingly located at the back of the router in between the reset and Wi-Fi off buttons. Perhaps not the best choice. The EA8500 offers good 5 GHz speeds, yet the 2.4 GHz band is less impressive. However, this can be overcome by utilising a second EA8500 and using it as a wireless bridge. This is a superb device with all the functions and features that any home should want or need. The Asus RT AC5300 has looks which might put some people off, especially those who suffer with arachnophobia, but the performance will not. This is a router that's jam-packed with high-end, super powerful features and provides stunning performance. This tri-band router has capped throughput of 5.3 gigabits per second and the 2.4 gigahertz band is boosted to a significant 1 gigabits per second thanks to NitroCam technology. Link aggregation allows up to 2 gigabits per second throughput on LAN, which is great for those who have home media server. This also has impressive read and write speeds capable of running a USB 3.0 device like a Media Center 2. The AC5300 is an intimidating router with 8 very prominent antennas which can be arranged in almost any direction. At its maximum size is 30 cm square and a whopping 17 cm tall. This router truly does represent the most up-to-date technology and will remain at the top of the stack for some time, which means that you will not be looking for another router for quite a while. The performance does not quite match the price, but it does offer the greatest overall performance to date. And that is why we here at SimUK vote the Asus RT AC5300 as our number one choice for best Virgin Media alternative router. Take it regular, please.